Imagine a world where the smartest minds come together to build the ultimate brain. A brain so powerful that it can drive a car, predict the weather, and solve the mysteries of the universe. In a world where technology evolves at the speed of thought and machines learn and adapt just like humans, this isn't just a dream. It's the groundbreaking reality that Tesla's creating with its Dojo supercomputer. Do you want to know what future developments we can expect from Tesla's Dojo supercomputer? Can Tesla's Dojo set a new standard for computing power and efficiency? In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of Tesla's Dojo. Before moving forward in the world of Dojo supercomputers, let's talk about the supercomputer. Do you know what a supercomputer is? A supercomputer is a computer with a high level of performance as compared to a general purpose computer. In simple words, a supercomputer is a computer that has a lot more processing power than your laptop at home. They're built for relatively large-scale tasks like flying a rocket, quantum modeling, predictive modeling, large-scale game theory, and other stuff. And Tesla is a company that makes electric cars, electric car batteries, solar panels, and everything in between. That probably aligns with what you know Tesla to be. But according to Elon, Tesla doesn't see itself as a car company because of the unique way its cars are built. To paraphrase Elon, Tesla is a robotics company because to them, their cars are actually semi-sentiment robots on wheels. Dojo is a supercomputer built by Tesla to train its AI, deep neural networks, and machine learning algorithms. According to Elon, the Dojo supercomputer is going to be the fastest AI training supercomputer built. Why? We'll go into that. First, do you know why it was created? To understand why Dojo was created, we have to understand how AI works. AI is a bunch of statistical models and algorithms implemented and trained on data so it can think and make decisions for itself. Data can be in any form, video, images, text corpus, or plain old numbers. For AI to be efficient, it needs to be trained on a lot of data. It's a perfectly linear relationship, i.e. the more data AI is trained on, the more efficient and better it becomes. For you to train AI on data, you need a lot of processing power. The more data you have, the more processing power you need, and for this purpose, AI engineers make use of things called GPUs, which are like usual CPUs, but far faster. Tesla's AI self-driving features are made of neural networks that are trained on millions of video data, so it can become better. Remember, the more data, the better the AI and these millions of video data easily become big data. So using GPUs would be inefficient and distributed computing would be great. But to train AI on data as big as millions of videos which are updated daily, you'd need a lot of computers, as essentially distributing computing is just sharing processing work between a lot of computers. And so Tesla decided that building a supercomputer would be more efficient both tech-wise and cost-wise. And so the Dojo supercomputer was born. In an era marked by unprecedented advancements in AI and machine learning, Tesla's Dojo is garnering a lot of attention following a positive write-up from Morgan Stanley, albeit shrouded in both skepticism and the usual Elon Musk-generated controversy. NVIDIA, which helped Tesla build its first supercomputer, says a fleet of 100 cars will produce more than 1 million hours of video recording each year with just five cameras. Tesla delivered over 1.8 million cars in 2023 itself for reference. Needless to say, the company needs something like the Dojo supercomputer to fulfill all the computing demands. But more than just enhancing autopilot and FSD tech, which Tesla considers critical for its future, the company also needs it for other ambitious ventures such as Tesla Boy and improving other aspects of its car. The Core Fundamental When Tesla started with the Dojo vision, the idea was to build a distributed, scalable computer system with higher bandwidth and reduced latency and achieve that without sacrificing power efficiency or cost effectiveness. As it embarked on the Dojo engineering journey, Tesla worked on several ideas to speed up the neural network processes, some of which were ultimately rejected in the late stages of development. One of the guiding principles behind the development of the Dojo was to create a scalable system so that as the AI models evolve in their complexity and need more resources, the Dojo infrastructure can just be scaled up instead of shifting to an entirely new accelerator and computing kit, somewhat like replacing an old GPU with a new one to play a demanding next-gen game. At the center of the Dojo's computing superpowers is the training tile, which integrates a 5x5 array of 25 self-designed D1 chips. The chip, based on the 7 nanometer fabrication process, measures about 646 millimeters square and packs close to 50 billion transistors, allowing it to deliver 360 teflops of compute power. This chip is like a GPU-level computer with CPU-level flexibility and 
twice the network chip level bandwidth, said Tesla project lead Ganesh Venkataraman at the AI Day event in 2021. Technically speaking, the D1 can be classified as a superscalar core with a multi-threaded design creating a scalable supercomputer. The D1 tile includes a custom voltage regulator module with an area matching that of the silicon and delivers an impressive power density of close to 1A per millimeter square. Tesla also had to work on material science to solve thermal issues on the tiles and even self-designed the cooling cabinet for compute units instead of buying them off the shelf to hit the cooling and energy efficiency targets. Notably, the company integrated the entire mechanical, electrical, and thermal pieces into a single unit, which is the system tile. However, the end goal for creating a scalable architecture was the hexapod, which comes to life at the fundamental level by linking together these tiles at multiple levels. The first stage is the system tray, which puts together six tiles packed tightly to deliver 54 p-flops of net output. The next element is the lane for feeding data to these processing units. Toward the goal, Tesla created the Dojo interface processor with a memory bandwidth of 800 gigabytes per second and runs a custom protocol that the team calls Tesla Transport Protocol TTP. Other elements include a PCIe Gen 4 interface and Ethernet port with a throughput of 50 gigabytes per second. Each tile's rays require 20 memory cards fitted underneath vertically, delivering 640 gigabytes of high bandwidth DRAM. For video-based training, a Dojo host interface is connected directly to the tray via the PCIe lanes of the DRAM module. The neural network training environment is based on Linux applications in the x86 architecture, effectively putting 586 cores to the task of investment processing. This entire assembly is then put together in the tower cabinet Tesla says each Dojo cabinet can host two such assemblies. Notably, the Dojo cabinets borrow their metallic angled looks from none other than the Cybertruck. The Future Outlook The Dojo cabinets are connected seamlessly to form what Tesla calls the Dojo Accelerator, a behemoth capable of delivering exaflop class power. While working on creating scalable computing hardware, the Tesla team also worked on the software to get the most out of the computing power at hand and optimize the training pipeline, which involves a liberal use of AI models. Tesla says the Dojo will fan out to become the fastest training computer on the planet, delivering roughly four times the raw performance output at the same cost in a five times smaller footprint. Moreover, on the energy efficiency side of things, it is touted to offer 1.3 times improved output per watt of power intake. In July 2023, when the supercomputer officially underwent assembly, Musk announced that Tesla would spend a billion dollars on its Dojo supercomputer project. While the company is a tad behind schedule with the Dojo development at its Palo Alto units, plans have already been inked to expand its supercomputer footprint under the Dojo branding. Interestingly, in June 2023, Musk replied to a user on X, Twitter, that the Dojo supercomputer had been up and running online for a few months. But despite the costs and risks, it seems the mercurial Tesla CEO is quite bullish about the whole endeavor, and so are the investors. We're scaling it up, and we have plans for Dojo 1.5, Dojo 2, Dojo 3, and whatnot, Musk was quoted as saying during an analyst call by TechCrunch. The Tesla supercomputer is not just a marvel of modern engineering. It's a testament to what's possible when innovation meets determination. From enhancing the capabilities of autonomous driving to pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence, Dojo represents the future of technology.